Hello YouTubers and wel welcome. This is Yorkshireman and Cole Mark. Um, well, I'm 52 year old and I started talking about the subject what I'm going to talk about because I'd be, uh, on the 17th of January 2019 at 3.23pm I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and I was told by my doctor me uh, what they call glucose, you know, blue glucose levels, which is sugar levels in English, was they should have been round about forty-eight to sixty, their normal levels for your your blood sugar. Mine, when I saw a doctor on third on seventeenth of uh, January, my blood glucose levels was one hundred, way up, one hundred and seven, hundred and seven. And I was told on that day by my by my doctor, if I'd have gone an antisola on that day, um, Friday would have been the eighteenth. Ninety, I could have been dead on twentieth, which is on the Sunday. I could have died basically. I could have gone through it with, I could have gone Friday Saturday, and I could have slipped into a coma and passed. Through. Well, I could have basically died. And luckily, my my doctor, oh well, doctor, what I do have, um, jumped on it and basically got me down to the surgery and got me onto medication straight away, which is metformin. I'm on that. Um, I started out on one tablet a day for a week. I started on this Thursday, which what twenty four, two tablets a day. Um, when I see. Diabetic nurse on the fourteenth um, of February, she's going to put me on four tablets a day, so I'll be taking two twice a day basically. Um, also, I am um, going to Pinderfield. Well, I'm going to hospital, Pinderfield's hospital, for an eye test, so they can keep an eye on because apparently, you know, apparently you can go blind. I didn't know that. Um, it has all sorts of implications with diabetes and one of them is you can go blind and if I don't look after myself and I don't look after my feet and that um, if I'm cutting my toenails I've got to be careful because yeah you can get gangrene if I get any infection I'm supposed to go straight to doctors or hospital or whatever so with that said um, also I've been told that I'm, I'll do a one-off course uh, they do it in community centres and you know, you know, you know, she's going to send me on it, and they tell you everything what you can't eat. I've only got a small list what I can eat and what I can't eat, basically. And you're not going to believe it when I tell you, but I've got it written down here. Uh, and basically, no fruit at all. Can't have fruit. No grapefruit. No bananas. No oranges. No peaches. No plums. No grapes. No nothing. Can't have that. The only fruit, well, what I can have, the only fruit what she says I could eat were cherries. Well, that's not too bad because I do like them. No white bread, so I've got to have brown or whole meal. One slice, maximum of two slices. That's going to be difficult because I like to have sandwiches. And no marmalade, no jam, no honey. Can't have any of that. No chips, no takeaways, no fast food whatsoever. No potatoes, no fizzy drinks, or fresh orange juice. So that way you see it chill, and it's fresh. It is, no, can't have it. You're not even supposed to be drinking it in the first place, but I can't have it. So, can't have it. any of that. No sweets, and that means sugar-free as well. I can't have any of that. No chocolate, which is understandable. And... And the other thing is... I can't, I, I can't have coffee. Uh -huh. So that's what I can't eat. Now I find that yeah, it's bizarre, isn't it? Because I can't have potatoes and that. Well, I keep it to a small portion. I do air fry. So, you know what I mean? I will be having chips. I won't be stopping from that. I've given up a lot for them. I don't drink, I'm not, I don't drink alcohol. Well, I do, but I don't drink a lot of alcohol. So that's one. I'm giving up my chocolate. I'm not giving up all, all my food. Um, this is what I can eat. Now, 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 what I can eat 
It's fresh vegetables, so any vegetables I can eat, brown or oatmeal bread, like I said. I can eat cherries, I can I can drink water. Well, you can have as much water as possible because there's nothing in it, because it's straight out of my tap. So I can have that. <laughs> I can eat sweet potatoes, which I don't understand why that is, but I can. I can eat sweet potatoes. Um, I can have... Um, diluted orange with no added sugar. I'm allowed to have that weak, so that's not a problem because I've got some of that and I, I drink that in any case. I can have soup. Um, what else? Uh, and what? What else did she say? Oh, and I can eat. Well, I can have white. Well, I can eat white meat and that because I I've got high cholesterol as well. I can eat meat. I can't have the crackling. So if I have pork, I can't have the crackling. I can have the meat within, and that's it. So, yeah, you know, I've got high cholesterol as well. I forgot to say this. <laughs> but, yeah. And and I can eat fish, um, oily fish to keep your skin so it doesn't dry up and that. Um, eat small portions as well. So, instead of having a great big plate and a great big mountain, small portions, what I've got to do. Well, I've been doing that because when someone else, when Kevin, my mate, cooks for me, he only gives me a small portion in any case. So, and have to exercise as well so that means i've got to get a push bike well hopefully that is in hand hopefully that's coming soon and i can start cycling again so that'll be interesting take me a while to get used to it again but it'd be it'd be i'll be i'll be happy to get back in the saddle and that you know what i mean so there you go so that's what i can eat basically um, I, can't even, I can't even have sugar-free gum or sweets or all. Well, I'm not supposed to. But, and that. So, also, that's how serious type 2 diabetes is. Yes, it's the most common. But if you don't look after yourself and you don't do the diet, what they ask you to do, obviously, I've, I, I, I've got, there's loads of people who I know who's got type 2 diabetes and they have chips, I think it's once a month. And it's a, it's a, you know, just a small bag of chips, it's once a month. But they do it themselves, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. So, I've been told to do it that way as well, you know. On the hour, you know. You know, you know, you know well, like if I have fish and chips, just make sure it's fish and chips once a month. And rest of the time, just leave it alone. Treat yourself when you lose weight keep yourself happy and things like that don't get depressed over it because you can because when i got told on 17th and i must admit i know i'm a lot more enjoyable now but on that particular day and leading up to this day i was in shock i couldn't believe it especially when they told me on you know, i could have died over the weekend if i hadn't died on the friday i could have died at the, if, well i I wouldn't have seen 21st of January, put it that way. And that's what they were getting through to me. So they treated me. I've got a good doctor. And I was happy with that. At least, at least my doctor's on the ball. I'm taking my metformin. And I, I went to see diabetic nurse. She, she tested my feet. I, you know, I've got good circulation on there. My blood pressure was down. It wasn't as high as it was when they had my annual checkup. I've had my flu jab. And that. Um, all they've got to do is keep doing what I'm doing and I'll lose the weight uh, obviously they want you to lose weight quick but I don't want to lose it too fast and feel poorly so I keep doing my exercise, keep walking, keep doing everything else go hiking, do this, do that I will do it and I'll lose the weight gradually that's how I want to do it, I don't want to do it too quick obviously or she get very poorly I know my dad when he had diabetes now he was he were diagnosed when he was 70 and he won't listen to doctors, my dad. And, you know what I mean? He kept doing opposite to what they told him. He uh, didn't even take his medication. And he ate 75. And unfortunately, he died. And he died of emphysema and, and complications with diabetes. Hence, I listen. I'm going to have to take all the advice. Um, I was told about, a ch uh, I think it's a charity, isn't it? The diabetes UK which they can help, I have been on their website, and it, it it's useful, and things like that. Now, I'd, I, I've never had butter in my life, because I'm allergic to dairy, or I was allergic to dairy products. 
produce. But I've been told, and it, it's on my list of what I can eat. If I'm going to use margarine, use flora light. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so that's what I've got in the fridge at the moment, that flora light. And that's what diabetes and is recommend recommended me to get so that's what i'll do and that but all my snacking days are gone so i can't lay in bed and eat sweets anymore well, okay fair enough but um what i will do and um i'm not going to start doing it is i'll make a salad up and bring it up and that and and, and just eat salad while i'm sat up here you know while i'm sat up here do, do, doing what i do you know what i mean i do a lot of youtube and i know that but even when i go out uh, out, out, out for a day. So I'm not tempted to eat fatty food. I'll just put a set box of salad stuff in it and take that with me. Or I'll make some salad sandwiches with my brown bread and, and, and do that. Take my flask and tea and away we go. And things like that. So yeah, uh, that, that charity Diabetes UK will be in the description below. Thumbs up if you like, you know, if you like, if you like this. Um, Please subscribe if you're new and hit that bell icon and please share the video, any other social media, please share it. And if this has been helpful to you, comment below or if you are diabetic and you've had it a while, comment below and telling me, you know, what other food I'm allowed to eat because, you know, I'm diabetic and that, you know what I mean? So, you know what I, mean? I like pasta, but... Don't tell me I can't have that, so surely I can, <laughs> but I don't know. But, you know what I mean? So there you go. So please comment. I, I do read comments. I, 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 I do reply to them as well, but I don't reply to everybody. So if you comment and they haven't replied, I do apologise, but it's hard to reply to a lot of comments if I get a lot of comments. So thank you to all my subscribers for being patient. I will be doing another video. I've just got to get a little bit more information on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing a video and talking about mental health. Yeah, have you got any mental health issues and things like? I have, and my mental health issues. It wasn't picked up on, but it all started when I was four year old. All my mental health problems, all my anxiety and things like, and PTSD wasn't picked up on when I was younger. But we'll chat about that in, in a future video. I'm going to do a bit more research in a few charities and that and get my information correct. And I can only tell you what I've got and talk about what I've got. But that's what I will do. And I hope this video has helped you. Um, but I will keep you updated. And every time I get I get food, what I can eat, I will tell you about it. I, you know, I'll, I'll even sit here, and if you want, <laughs> I'll even sit here, and I'll show you what I've got, and, and, and it's friendly for diabetics. But that's what I've got to do. You see, I do a lot of camping, walking, and I need to know what food can I take with me, what I'll be safe to eat on a camping trip. Obviously, I can't take loads, but can I eat noodles? I don't know. Can I can I eat can I eat rice? Don't tell I know rice has got starch in it, so I know I won't be able to, but you never know. Right. So this has been helpful. Great. That's what it's all about. Um the more I talk about it and believe it or not, I I know that I'm not in front of anybody, only my my camera, but believe you me, this helps me. It helps me a great lot. Especially knowing that if this helps somebody else, then my job's done. I'm happy about that. But this is my journey with diabetes. And I will keep blogging about it. I will keep talking about it. And I'll go from there. And there'll be some interesting boring parts, I know. But there will be some interesting parts. So it's like a little journey together, in it? So I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Like I say, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon. And share it with other social media. I'd be great friends, family or whatever. Whoever you want, I'd be grateful. And thank you. Bye for now. Catch you all later.